Hey guys, Clumsy here and welcome back to PC Building Simulator. It's been a while, huh? And there's been a major update that released, I think just today, when this video is released. It's uh, version 1.2 if I remember correctly and introduces a couple of new major features. First and foremost, you might have noticed the workshop actually looks a bit different now, but a lot more, a uh, lot brighter different looking uh, objects, a couple of professional looking, uh, how do you call it, mats here and uh, just looks better overall and th the best feature in this workshop redesign is this, is that there's now this switch <laughs> near the door so you don't have to like go from here super dark and you have to walk blindly until you switch the thing here inside the room <laughs> Small thing, but actually adds a lot. There's actually a new DLC as well. Uh, I haven't bought it, but there's an option to change the workshop from the default to a razor specific one, and this looks pretty cool. You can see some screenshots, you can buy it. I think it's around 6 USD, something around that point. If you're a razor fan, you like to build PCs while having this kind of workshop, then that's the one for you. For me, though, I'm going to stick to this one in the meantime. It feels more, uh, how do you say, more workshopish, more like a PC repair shop for me. So I'm going to stick with that. Even the layout of the PCs are, have changed, I think, from, from all the way here. They're now on this side. And one of the biggest updates, one of the biggest features in this update, as you might have seen it, you can actually swap peripherals now. Mouse mats, keyboards, mice. Even the headsets you can change. I'm not actually sure if you can just change them at will. Like if you press that, you can. You don't even need to buy it. It's not for this one. That is pretty cool. And yes, right now I think only Razer is available. But that's more than enough. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Yeah, let's go Razer all out. If it's free, why not? <laughs> but that looks pretty cool. I like that. I wonder if you can also change the ones here. Yeah, it looks like it's unlimited actually. That is pretty nifty. I like it. I like it. Okay. But since the last episode, I can't even remember what we were working on. I do have some notes though. Uh, it says uh, I still have to repair something. Yeah, from Catherine here. And um, I have to replace a couple of stuff. So maybe we'll check that out and we'll also check if there are some new jobs that came out. Let me see. All of these are new. Maybe they uh, refreshed the job list. Hopefully something now needs uh, like a, a separate peripheral or something. Because I remember in order to buy uh, peripherals, you need to have a certain kind of software, I think. Let me try and remember which one. Yeah, that one. Peripheral shop. To customize your desk and workbenches. So we'll have to buy that in order to buy the new stuff, the new keyboards and mice. But I'm not sure if any client actually requests it. Let, let, let's, let's take a look. Okay. <clears throat> This one is a recommended spec, okay. That should be pretty basic. But that's actually a brand new rig. That's interesting. But I'm trying to look for something that specifies having like a keyboard or mouse. I'm not sure if it's included in the job just yet. Lots of AIO. And diagnose and fix. 3D Mark, AIO, uh, AIO is the in thing nowadays here in this world. Cool remaster, yes, okay, thank you. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think anything is new here, so probably not at the moment. So what we can do is we can fix this first, and then we'll uh, take things as we go, okay? So let me get this one, this must be Catherine's. Um, replace CPU, replace air cooler. And then I have some notes here where uh, there are actually some hidden objectives like antivirus and 3D mark. Let's confirm if, that, if that's still the same. You can hear the fans going when turn the power on but nothing else happens. Yeah, I diagnosed that already. Uh, 
it's probably the CPU and also the air cooler doesn't work. Yeah, and I'm always benchmarking it to see if any changes have made it better. And then I think I clicked on something bad. That's the antivirus note. And the benchmarking is for the 3D mark. So indeed, my notes are spot on. Okay, so let's get to it. Um, how do you do this again? <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> kind of forgot already. <clears throat> okay, let's see. I think the other side has the better accessibility. But let's just open both sides. Yeah, this is the back. This case is a bit inverted. Maybe this is from the UK. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let me see if I have anything in my inventory, actually. Uh, remove air cooler. Let's see, okay. Let me check that out. Yeah, indeed, that's broken, and I have the replacement right here. That's perfect. Uh, I'm not going to sell them just yet, so that I can take note of what I'm missing out here on. That actually looks pretty good, huh? Yeah, that's actually pretty good. I think they changed even the graphics, the overall graphics. It seems a lot more, how do you say, there's like a little bit of bloom, a little bit of reflection in there. It feels more vibrant. So they probably changed something there as well. In the overall graphics, G4620, okay. Um, G4620, that's the one, perfect, okay. So let's sell that broken one. Let's uh, install this new one. Let's make sure that we put in some thermal paste. And uh, let's close that out. There you go. And then we install the cooler. Sell that. Plug that in. Cryo rig, I love that. That is my uh, cooler as well in my rig, in my real rig. Good. Replace CPU. And then we just have to connect this to the motherboard. And there we go. Replace air cooler. That should uh, be able to boot up now. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Razor stuff there. Wow. Pretty high volume here. I have to take a photo of those somehow. But Can I zoom in? No, not really. Okay, fine. Wait a minute. Let's uh, install the USB. So also the animation seems to have gone faster. Everything is turbo fast now. Probably changed some stuff there as well. So we have to install 3D Mark and uh, antivirus. So I'll do the antivirus first, and then we'll run 3D Mark. We'll leave it, and then we'll go look for the next job. Don't restart yet because we are still going to install one more. Uh, we are at 5 stars. We ended the last episode where we finally reached 5 stars again. It was a great feeling. And uh, yeah, this is actually what we're doing now. It's a 5 star job. I'm actually not sure if that's related to like the difficulty or the prize. Because this doesn't seem particularly advanced. But maybe, maybe, I don't know. Let's see. <clears throat> I might have to adjust that volume. That uh, startup was very intense. There we go. Clean files. Perfect. Good. And now we run 3D Mark. All right, that should work. And while that's happening, we can close this up. This side. Yeah. You see those uh, panels when they snap in? It's like turbo fast. Not sure if I like it. I kind of like the the slow mo one. It feels more natural to me. But maybe there's an option for it. Let me just uh, take a look while we're waiting here. <clears throat> Let's see. Maybe there's something. No, 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 no. No, don't go there. Settings. Full screen, V sync, key bindings, uh, look sensitivity, sound effects, volume. Let's make the music a little bit louder. Yeah, I think that works. There's also some like loud fan that played. Where's that coming from? From here? Maybe because of 3D Mark, I don't know. Man, but that looks pretty cool, huh? <clears throat> we'll have to buy the, the software. I think I'll, I'll go for it. 
because we have to test it out. Let's get the peripheral shop. And then it's also... Actually, I think I can just buy that. Though there should be no delivery fee there. What we need are multiple monitors. Is it possible to change the monitor now? Not sure if that's been implemented. Maybe not yet. There we go. That's good. Alright, we can place this in the delivery area. See? Everything is there now, not, no longer on this side. Which is actually a lot more uh, optimal. Alright. Collect. Five stars. Perfect. 349 bucks. Done deal. Okay, this guy. Okay, we can buy it immediately. Perfect. And now I think we'll need to like install it or something. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Let's see how this looks. Let's go window shopping. It would be nice if like customers really requested for those, especially with those building new PCs requests. Because as it is right now, it looks pretty cool but doesn't really have any bearing on the income. So it's kind of nice to have for the first like 5 or 10 minutes when you take a look at your your like, equipment here but after a while you probably will stop looking how is this looking oh so many different styles okay razor chroma wrist with wrist rest nice mice there's even a pink version of razor they haven't seen that before i actually have a razor mouse right now it's the Razer Taipan. It's a bit old, but it's a uh, an ambidextrous mouse because I'm left-handed, so I can't really use these right-handed specific ones, but uh, it's pretty cool. I like it. All right. That's cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool right there. That's nice. Okay. But yeah, I don't think there's any job that uh, requests for it. Let's see. <clears throat> okay, let's go and look for something we like. Um, do you guys want to build a new PC or uh, upgrade or fix free at last? Bruce Van Leaf, our old friend. Your services are no longer required. Slink back to my typewriter in the hope of rediscovering my muse. Okay, he's back to old school. Happy for him. Let's go for the big bucks, right? Let's go for the large labor. Let's go look for the biggest one. This one is 464. Of course, uh, quite a big budget. But that might be from scratch right there. Yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go and do that. <clears throat> I kind of like the building a new PC from scratch thing. World of Tanks recommended specs. And then, okay, let, let me take note of this. Um, Fluffy Adrian. Fluffy wants a new PC World of Tanks recommended spec and then his additional requi requirement is uh, Sheen now what which parts all or any I'm not sure but let's just note it down and then he doesn't like used parts so only new parts okay so mainly the requirements are uh, World of Tanks recommended specs Sheen parts and everything should be new, right? Okay, let's let's get that. Go to whiteboard. That guy. Let's place him here. Perfect. Should I also change this one now? Nah, let's let's keep that the default for now. <clears throat> okay. Um. How do we do this? Assign the job there, and then we can go shopping now. First thing we need to do is go to Will It Run. Let's go to World of Tanks. Recommended spec is what uh, they want. So let's go and check this. Let me note these down. RAM 4 gig, VRAM 4 gig, um, storage 30 gig. CPU should be an i7 67. Hundred and uh, GTX 970. Okay, cool. All right, and then we have a budget, of course. So I have to take note of the budget as well. Budget is one three six five. Okay, one three six five for everything. That looks that looks like a big budget actually. 
<clears throat> Alright. So let's see. Let's go to the shop. Let's do this one by one. The minimum or the recommended settings are a CPU uh, i7-6700. Let's go look for that. i7-6700. This guy. Alright, I don't have any of those. So let's add that to cart. To 40. Let's uh, see. CPU cooler. Um, so it should be compatible with an i7. Which is an LGA1151 socket. So we'll have to look for a cooler. Which is uh, similar to that. We can get maybe a... Uh, I'm kind of partial to uh, Cryrig. A Cryrig H7, I think, is what I have to be specific. Let's get one of those. Height is 145 millimeters. We have to take note of that when we buy the case. Motherboard, uh, LGA1151. <clears throat> I have to look for the socket. That guy. Let's go for the cheapest one doesn't really want anything in there or uh, wait a minute so like a sheen no there's no sheen okay good um, let's see shall we build him something small maybe for a change s ATX um, micro ATX that's a bit more expensive actually <clears throat> oh should be ascending okay I should be ascending all right micro ATX actually is the cheapest AB350M Gaming 3, that's actually almost similar to mine. Mine is this one, the third one, the S80X. So let's get him a micro ATX. That should be okay. And this is only for AM4 though, my bad. Uh, no, that will not work. That will not work. So let's get the next best thing. LGA1151. Is there no other micro ATX that's for an LGA1151? This guy. But that's actually pretty expensive, so no thank you. We'll stick to a normal sized motherboard then. Uh -huh. That should be okay. Yeah, no big deal there. Alright, next up, memory. Um, they did want sheen, so let's get them as many sheens as possible. They needed uh, 4 gig of RAM, so we just need to buy two of these for the dual memory function. Let's see what other stuff are there. There's a Sheen memory. There's a Sheen graphics card. So let's get one of these as well. Uh, GTX 970 is the minimum requirement. So I actually have two of these. But are they brand new or not? One sec. Let's see. Uh, graphics cards. Um, 970. These are both used. So we cannot actually use that for him. He'll be mad. So let's get one of these. Storage, he requires 30 gigs. Let's also get one of these. Yeah, Sheen Mega 60 gig. And what else? Power supply. Power supply should not be much. If you look here, the i7 is actually uh, 91 watts. The graphics card is... Uh, 148 so that's around 230 240 so that's 250 let's add a bit of buffer because there are other parts as well so maybe we can uh, make it 350 let's make it 400 after all it's almost the same price and it's modular so let's get that thing cables he did not specify cables so let's not go with that um cases okay cases uh, has to be uh, Cryorig H7 is what we got, which is height of 145 millimeters. And then the graphics card that we got is actually uh, 147 millimeters. So that's not really a big deal. Most of the cases can handle that. So max GPU length, max CPU height. Yeah, that's that's more than enough. Price ascending. Okay. Yeah, this is this should be good. Silverstone PS14 should be okay unless there's a sheen. I don't think so. But I think I like getting this Antec, simple looking one, but pretty nice and pretty sleek looking. Uh, S80X PSU size is 80X. 
lots of allowance, but the CPU fan height is actually almost too close for comfort, just one millimeter away. So I think I'll take the uh, the Silverstone. How about this one for a change? The NZXT. It's a pretty nice brand, right? Mid Tower. Yeah, let's go with that. And you can even change it. Ooh, this is interesting. You can even change the color. Black and red, black and blue. Let's go in black and blue. That looks pretty nice. Yeah, I'll take that. We can afford to splurge a little. We have way more budget than this. No big deal. That's okay. 900 bucks. I hope I'm looking at the right things here because this looks to be so... He looks to have so much budget. We can actually afford to give him a better memory maybe. Let's, see, let's go and upgrade some stuff. Maximize his uh, budget. Let's go and get that expensive RAM. So he has 16 gig. And let's get him the more expensive graphics card, which is uh, this guy, Gamer XL. Just a bit more expensive. Yes. What else can we upgrade? The storage. We can get the better. A bigger SSD. So let's go with that. I'm hoping our case has an SSD case, has, a, has an SSD slot. I'm going to double check, okay? Because last time I don't think there was. NCXT, that's the guy. Um, does it say here? Hmm. 280mm radiator, okay. It's impossible that it doesn't, this doesn't have a. Uh, a slot for the SSD will make it work okay but that should be okay did I miss anything else I don't think so okay we're good there it's 1045 in total yeah let's buy that order will arrive tomorrow perfect okay let's go with that for now we can leave that as is and uh Close the lights. Actually, everything looks brighter now. Usually it's darker. Before it was way darker. Okay, fine. Right. Let's see, lots of deliveries. Did we actually accept the job? Can't remember if we did. Yeah, I think we did. Alright, end the day. <clears throat> now we're here. Now we can turn on the power from here. That is amazing. Okay, and <laughs> oh, these are the, where the deliveries are going. Okay, bigger boxes makes more sense. This is the case that we bought. Plop that down there, and let's build this PC. Let's get some blue cables in there as well. I think that will fit very well. All right, let's do this. Let's get rid of the uh, oh, there there it is. Drive bay for the SSD. Okay, let's uh, also get rid of that other side so we have as much space as we can, as we need. Good. Let us uh, install the PSU first. But we'll have to remove the casing here, like the housing. And I think I'll have to look at it from this side. That will be easier. And thank goodness it's modular, so it's going to be much neater. Even the PSU is actually uh, very perfect looking for the colors. Black and blue theme. I wish they would like... I, I don't know. Maybe it's hard to do that, but they would give you additional score or bonus if you... Uh, build a PC my bad if they build a PC that is actually uh, good looking so the better looking it is the uh, higher your bonus will be but I guess it will be kind of difficult especially because they have different brands and uh, 
you cannot just give one brand a higher score than the other. It would be unfair for the manufacturers. So I guess it would be kind of tricky for them. They have to remain partial and factual. There you go. But maybe they can have, have like user preferences, right? Because each, each person has uh, like leans towards something else. Like um, someone prefers ASUS, someone prefers uh, MSI, you know, things like that. Alright, let's go and install the CPU. We'll have to open that first. Open the CPU shield. Install the i7-6700. Close that down. Apply thermal paste. And before we install the CPU cooler, let's install the memory first. Because uh, the CPU cooler is massive. I'm hoping I don't get into conflict with that. Sometimes the CPU cooler is too large, it actually hits the memory modules. There you go. We will see. It's actually just perfect. Airflow is correct, yeah? So it takes in the cool air from here, passes them through the thermal, through the, how do you call it? The vents, uh, these metal thingies, which would take in the heat. It would cool them down and the hot air would get expelled through the case fan out of the case. Rinse and repeat. Alright, that works. Cable. Install the air cooler. Put that, plug that into the motherboard. Perfect. Um, what else? Do we install the other stuff as well? Yeah, I guess we can do that. Connect this to the PSU. Oh, the cables. <laughs> Remove everything. I want the cables to be blue. I think I have blue cables. Yeah, that one. And since this is modular, this should be possible. There we go. Beautiful. Case fans, I don't think we can control. Actually, we can. Interesting. We can control the, uh, the colors as well. Connect this to the motherboard too. And that one, the case, uh, connect it to the motherboard so that the lights in front will light up here. Looking good so far. Let's go install a the graphics card. The 970 Gamer XL. I'm, ho I'm hoping that's stronger than the 970. It kind of seems like it, right? Let's check it out first though. We will need uh, one sec. Just one slot. The second one. We need to remove this one. And that should be okay already to install fully. There we go. That's a pretty small graphics card. Doesn't even need an external an auxiliary power source here. Okay, next up we have the SSD. SSD, just put that there. Put the cable to the uh, PSU and also connect the SATA connection via that place there. There we go, that's green. Um, did I miss any other requirement? She new parts, I don't think we even need to 3D mark it. But what we need to do now is to uh, install the OS. So we put that in, power it up. That should install automatically. Okay, fans are moving. That's a good sign. No fan in front though. Doesn't come with fan in front. Has two fans at the back though. Okay. PC can boot to OS. Nice. And we have 350 budget remaining. That's actually pretty uh, straightforward, huh? Nice. Either I got better at this, or that was just a really easy build. <laughs> yeah, the, the budget was way more than uh, it needed to be. But I, I'm, I'm not complaining. Not complaining. Okay, we still need to close the case here. I might have done that a bit differently. Okay. Um, power it off. Remove that cable so we can install back the mount. Perfect. And now we should be good to go. Or uh, maybe not. Oh, I missed something. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The uh, 
the guard, the GPU guard, however you call it, PCI lock. That guy. Alright, fine. There you go. Place in the delivery area, okay. That should be everything. Alright, so that should be five stars. Unless I missed something. Oh, let's put up first. Man, that looks cool, isn't it? You have to take a photo of that. The new workbench. Looks like a real professional. Is the mat actually lighting up? Is the... Oh, is this, how does that even work? Oh, this guy. Chroma Classic. The mouse mat is actually connected to a power source and has its own lighting. I guess that also acts like a USB hub. A very interesting design. Nice, okay. Uh, well, I like it now. Definitely have to take another screenshot of that. Um, there we go. Let's collect this. Five stars. Perfect. 1,479. Yeah, it doesn't really, you don't really need to max out the, the, the parts budget. Because even if you, well, either way, you wouldn't get extra money. You would only get money for exactly what you paid for. So the labor is the uh, real income here. Good. That is great. Let's have a look what new stuff came in. Bruce Van Cleef, our friend is back. Uh, he continues working at all. What? Such bizarre talent. Okay. Uh huh. Thank you for that info. <laughs> Diagnose and fix. Dual graphics cards. I like that. I like that. Upgrade the GPU, install dual, and then install AIO water cooling. Maybe we can do that in the next episode. Because for now, I think I'll end it here at the 30 minute mark. But I'll take that. And uh, we'll see. I'll uh, read it later or next time. Let me just note that down so I don't forget. G. Bronte is the next job. Already accepted it. <laughs> but yeah, it, uh, it's been a while. I was not actually intending on recording any PC building sim. But I saw the update and I had to really check it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Anyway. I'll leave it there for now. Please, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, hit the like button, comment, share with your friends, and all that stuff, alright? Thank you for watching, have a nice day, and catch you in the next episode. Thanks and bye-bye. Clumsy building. <laughs> Clumsy PC building? Bye-bye.